Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this episode I am going to show you how you can add a rating function to your app. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, in this episode we are going to talk about the SK review store controller and we are going to show you how we can add a rating button and how Apple wants us to manage the rating of our apps. Before we do that, let me just remind you of our holiday favorite special sale that is on rebeloper.com. So go ahead, go to rebeloper.com and get it before Christmas, get it before it goes away. We have tons of super special discounts. Uh, one is for the tribe, one is for the Pablo, but go ahead, take a look at the details and let me know what you think and maybe take advantage of our discounted prices. So we have left off on our Xcode, uh, we have added our score label. So let us just go ahead and commit now because I have forgot to do that in the previous episode. So we are going to commit now and we are going to uh, name this message day 13, day 13 and 14, okay? And we are going to commit this one file that we have uh, modified. And now let's just create a new branch from day 13 and I would name it Bay Day 15 because this is the 15th day of our Advent Calendar tutorial series. Okay, now today we are not going to add a lot of code, but we still need to talk about some uh, rules that Apple wants us to follow when prompting for a rating our apps um, on the App Store and inside our uh, apps. Well, there are a couple of do's and a couple of don'ts that we need to follow. Well, let's talk about the don'ts first. Well, it is not advised to use uh, these third party libraries uh, anymore because as of uh, iOS 10.3, there has been added a new framework that Apple wants us to use. It is the SK a review store uh, controller framework and we will use that to prompt users to rate our app. And of course we are going to talk about how to add a button, uh, an action to rate the app. And um, first of all, uh, we should not add this uh, request on the app launch. That is obvious. Apple don't want, uh, doesn't want us to uh, prompt users with this pop-up when the users haven't even got a chance to test our app. Another thing is that this framework limits our pop-up to three times per year. So we want to add a little more extra and Apple provides us that too. we want to add a rate button so whenever a user feels like rating our app, it can be taken to the App Store to give it a proper rating for our app. So we will implement this uh, today. Now um, I will add our pop-up not at the beginning of the launch of our app, I will add it at a, at a breaking point in our app where it is logical. And I will do that when a user wants the app. So we don't want, uh, wants the gameplay. So we don't want to, to ask for a rating when the user fails at a game of um, gameplay. We want to uh, prompt it when it is won. So inside our gameplay, I will just ask here one. So if one is true, then we will prompt for the SK review controller. And for that, we need to import first. That is all we need to import. We need to import Storkit. And down here, uh, when we ask if 
the game over is one we just simply type in and that is all you need to add only this single line of code is the one that you need to add in order to prompt the user with that pop-up so let us just build and run on our iPhone 10 simulator and I, I have already mentioned this this uh, is uh, internally set up so we might not get a pop-up okay we did have a pop-up because this is the first time and this is what you will get enjoy advent calendar tutorials and this is taken from the bundle I uh, uh, let me just show you here where you can add this under info uh, you have this uh, bundle item let me just bundle name yeah we bundle name we can also add a bundle display name so let us just do that now and let's add here and this is the bundle display name you could also add it here the display name under general okay so ACT should be displayed next time uh, instead of advent calendar tutorials so tap a star to rate it on the app store and the user could tap a star and be taken to the app store okay that is it let us just close this and now we need to implement some sort of logic where a user taps a button and is taken to the app store so let's go ahead and i will add this to the main menu and i will add a new button here and i will just simply add a new button i would just copy this play button well better yet i will copy the back button from our gameplay and modify it to my needs so here is our back button just copy it out and paste it into the main menu and then rename it to rate button okay and the image name should be at the button blue and the title will be rate me okay maybe we will need to set up our fonts and let's go back to the gameplay and take a look at what else we need to set up in our back button so we did set up our position and we did add it to our scene so i will just copy that again and inside main menu under let's go ahead and take a look at the last line in the did move to view function and i will just add it and a rate button here okay paste it paste it again and i will change the position to be Oh, let me that the anchor point is at zero so I will just simply add here the width should be zero and the height should be let's say negative 0.2 okay uh, let us just build and run and see how this looks like here we have our rate me button of course you can see that the font size is uh, too much so I would just uh, make the font size smaller universal font size and I will just take a look at our BD button what we have set already here it's 24 so I will just maybe add here 18 and let's build and run again and see an our rate me button it looks fine so under the button action I will just delete this and add our self dot and I will create this function down below what do we need to do here well first of all we need to understand how um, to implement this button and to do that let us just go back to our gameplay and scroll down and in the SK store review controller let's jump to our definition and here you can see we have one open class and it, it says request review and we have already used this and it will just uh, 
pop up a review controller. And now it says here for presenting a right uh, review form, a deep, the deep link is available to the App Store by appending the query parameters action equals right review to a product URL. Now, what this means is that you need to have an App Store URL to your app and then you can append this action equals right review to it. Okay, now how to get our uh, URL? Well, first of all, you need to create an app on the iTunes Connect. So let's go ahead and open up a new window here and let's go to iTunes Connect. And then we can create under My Apps. So let's uh, click on this plus button. Let's create a new app and it will be an iOS and the name should be Advent and the primary language should be English. And let's choose our bundle ID. But if we take a look, I have lots of bundle IDs, but if I have tried to look down here, I cannot find my bundle ID just yet because it haven't been generated automatically by Xcode. Now this happens uh, for a reason, but I will not go into that for this tutorial, but let me just show you how you can uh, it says here automatically manage signing and we should get this rebeloper advent calendar tutorials bundle identifier inside iTunes Connect, but we don't. But to manage it, let's go into capabilities and let's turn in-app purchases on. We will have in-app purchases anyway inside our app. Yeah, we need to go and create a provisioning profile for it. Okay, let's automatically manage signing, enable automatic. There are a few steps here that you need to take. Well, let us just uh, change our bundle identifier to two and let's manage signing automatically. And now we should be able to choose this com.reveloper advent calendar tutorials 2 in our iTunes Connect. Okay, let's cancel that out and let's create a new app. And now let's start by choosing our bundle ID and we should be able to find it. Well, we need to wait a few more minutes maybe, but to be sure and on the safe side, let us just check in our developer portal and I will show you how to do that. So go to developer.apple.com and select account here. And now go to certificates, identifiers and profiles and select app IDs. And here, let us just search for advent and I will just search this and as you can see the app ID has been created and no uh, other app ID with advent calendar tutorials has been created so we should be able to register our new app now okay let's choose under bundle ID here it is it has been created and we can choose this so and iOS name ACT is fine and we should set English and US and now let's create our app finally oh ACT is taken so now remember we created this app to get our URL to the App Store but this app isn't on the App Store just yet we need to still submit it for review and maybe that will uh, be approved but we have a little button here view on the app store and I will just click on that and you will see we will not leave we will not open it in iTunes connect so iTunes apple.com US app advent calendar tutorials with an ID and this is our app URL so let us just copy this URL, command C, and let's go back to Xcode. And inside our main menu, 
we can handle the uh, rate me button. So first of all, we need to create a URL, but maybe this URL doesn't exist. So we will wrap it inside an if let statement. So, and this string needs to be, and we will paste in here our string uh, as uh, the App Store URL that we have just copied out and we will close this parentheses so we get uh, this uh, warning away and we will add here our uh, what we uh, just found out here let me just go back to the gameplay and right click to jump to definition in our SK um, store uh, review controller and we will just add this action equals write review let me just copy this out go to our main menu and let's append now here on after the uh, question mark action write review so we do have our url now all we need to do is just open it by uh, using the open uh, URL with from the UI application open and we will use this open URL options and completion handles so we open URL we will add our URL here okay options will be nil okay no options and inside our completion handler let's get our result and if result so if we do have a result we print out now let's just try this and see what happens okay oh, sorry about that let us just build and run and see how all of this goes okay let's tap on rate me and as you can see we are taken to our uh, Safari cannot open page because the address is invalid. Okay, let's go back and maybe, maybe we did not uh, add our correct uh, URL. So let's close that. Let's grab all of this. Okay. Let's build and run again. Okay, and now let's try to rate. Okay, upon further inspection, I have uh, revealed I found out that first of all you need to test on a real device so I have plugged in my iPhone and uh, added QuickTime player so you may see what I'm tapping on and I have constructed this URL uh, in this way so HTTPS iTunes Apple.com App and here you need to add your ID and your ID can be found here. So this is your ID. So you need to copy this out, not the whole URL as I did earlier. You need to copy out only uh, this ID. So that is your ID. Or maybe just go and add this is your ID and uh, add the ID to letters before this one. Okay. And now you need to append with the question mark action uh, write review and that is your URL that you need to construct. And now let us just build and run on our iPhone and I will just finally show you how this all looks. And of course we will not be taken to the exact place on the App Store because this is uh, not uh, available just yet but we will be taken to the App Store app and it will say item not available the item you requested is not currently available in the US store and that is perfectly fine because uh, you will be taken to the correct page once the app is live on the App Store and for that you still need to submit it for review and uh, the review team needs to approve it and set it live on the App Store. Okay, that is it. You now know how to uh, add the rate function into your app. Hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. 
and of course subscribe below click the button below to subscribe to see more videos of me on these advent calendar tutorials and i will see you in the next one